All right, this problem reads that a store buys a hat for $12 and marks it up 25%. And we have to figure out what the selling price is. So the original cost of the hat is $12. So let us just go ahead and write 12 right here. And we know that this price is being marked up. So our price is going to increase. We're going to add a certain amount to 12. Now, the amount that we're going to add to 12 is going to be 25% of the original $12. Well, 25% of anything is just one fourth of that thing. So I'm going to take one fourth of these $12 and shade in that quarter right there. And we can see that $3 out of 12 represents 25%. So we could say that 25% or 0.25 of 12 equals $3. So we know that 12 is going to increase by $3, which is $15. Now, with markup problems, we have to be very careful. Sometimes they want to know just how much the markup is. If we wanted to know just the amount of the markup, that would be $3, which represents 25% of 12. However, if they want to know what the selling price is, you have to add that markup amount to 12. So here's another way we can think about this. We started with one group of 12, and we're adding on to that 25% of 12 or 25 hundredths of 12. So if we combine like terms here, we could say that one group of 12 plus a quarter group of 12 is one and a quarter groups of 12. So really what is happening is that the price that the store is selling the hat for is going to be 125% of 12, which would also give us $15.